Ladies and gentlemen, we are live here at the RSP Lounge, and I am flanked by the one, none other, one of the legacy Ranger characters to grace us, right? Yeah, yeah I don't know grace is the right word. Yeah, uh, I, I think it is. I think uh, it are is. Are we supposed to wash our hands in the bowl before we start? Oh, yeah, you, you forgot. There's water in there. There's uh, all kinds of stuff, guys. You guys can't see it, but... Dead frog. There Chris. is a dead frog, yeah. Dead we, frog. We crystallized it. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Narvi. How's it going, man? It's fine. It's great. I've uh, never been better, like ever. Ever. Ever, ever, or just no. a little bit ever? Ever. Ever. Great. No. Uh, you know, um, <laughs> by the way, funny story, guys, watching right now live. Uh, I, I happened to come into the into the lobby downstairs yesterday. I get here, and... Uh, yeah, you can't see it, but yeah, yeah, that's no, right there. Now you can see it. Now you can, you see. Oh my God! Oh my God! What? When did you get here? Just now. Like, good to see your beautiful face. And his arms guy. working. I hate that guy. That guy. Oh my yeah. God! What? I love you. I hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I seen you downstairs here, you know, with Hello. Paul. You know, yeah. it was it's the first time I get to meet you. We've spoken about so many projects Several and things times, that we want to work on, which is great. So for me, it's like an honor to have you here and today. I, I get a text from you like once a day. You're like, yes, I when tried, are we to start rolling cameras? I try to text him at least every half hour. Yeah, at least yeah, it every works half out hour. that way. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about I had uh, I had Johnny here early uh -huh. this morning. Mm -hmm. But obviously, you're part of the film that he's. Uh, Arc you guys, Exodus. you guys are both releasing yes. this October. That's right. Um, can you give us a little bit of uh, from your eyes and, mm -hmm. and from your knowledge uh, about the film? Arc Exodus is a sci-fi film um, about uh, a world uh, in which a parallel universe has been discovered, and people in the parallel universe are coming over here. They're doppelgangers of us, sent to destroy our world. Johnny oh. plays an assassin who's out there to track them all down and I play his boss because I you know are the up. boss. I am the boss, let's face it. You know, we're not playing against type, we're going with the type on that one. Oh. So, it's super cool. Look, man, um, we created it, or I should say Johnny created it. Um, we produced it um, and decided it was for the fans. We're gonna release it out, um, basically as a sort of love letter to the fans out there. You know, it's a 40 minute short film. We might expand the world, so keep your eyes open, but everyone should go to voxrocketstudio.com uh, to find out information. It's gonna be released on October 1st. Wow, guys, that's yeah. like really like, that's it's, down the street when you it, think about it. That's like right around the soon. corner. It's coming right around the corner, so you know, keep posting. And you mentioned, you mentioned expanding it, right? Is that something f that you have um, thought about? It? I know, you know, you're huge into film and you've, you've done, your, your resume is insane, basically. So is that something that you've always wanted to do was have your own universe, like something that you could expand on? Ah, that's a good question. Um, as far as having a real universe, I never thought about it quite in those, in those terms. Um, it's exciting to have a universe, right? I always wanted to have a playground, like a production studio where we could create, um, tell new stories, um, expand our world, someplace where we're the ones in control of whatever it is we are. And, and you know, I've been doing, you know, theater and motion pictures forever. Yes. Uh, but the past 10 years, I've been doing exclusively theater. And I found that um, I missed motion pictures because you can go further, you can do more. And exactly what you talked about, expanding the world, means you're not just doing one script, you're not doing two, you might be doing 20 years of scripts, as we see by, you know, the Power Ranger thing. You know, and that's super exciting. So that's not something I've always wanted to do, but that's something that the past few years has become increasingly more important to me as an artist. Now, we, today's uh, Power Ranger Day, National Power Ranger Day, 28 years. Uh, heading quickly to this 30-year mark. Uh, we, got our, we got our Power Ranger Day uh, tree at home, you know. Oh, yeah, that's we what I was going to say. Yeah, do you, yeah, yeah. do you celebrate the candles and stuff? Mo most people do. It's, you know, it feels like just such a Hallmark holiday, I go doesn't to the, it? I go to the bodega and I get my, you know, my candles and, and you light You can't get up. away from it, right? It's everywhere, you know. Happy. It is, yeah. I like that. You got a song for it. I didn't even know. It's not my song. Oh, it's okay. The it's the song. They sing it in church, I think. <laughs> so with the 30-year uh, anniversary looming, man, like, how like 30 anniversary like how does that even cross your your mind in a way like 30 yeah. years right what well, television you know mm -hmm. we both come from from film and television we both you know you obviously way out there more than me i'm learning from you but 
the history of television and the amount of time that it takes to get a show up to this level where Power, where Power Rangers is at now, right? Like Cheers, maybe you know WWE has their live programming every every week right. that's Look, been going on since '93. Oh, that's true. I mean, when we grew up, there was nothing that lasted that long. No, I mean, the, the CBS News. I mean, how long was Ed Sullivan on the air? Very, right. I mean, you know, ten years or something like that. So it really wasn't until basically the '90s that we saw. Um, uh, shows come out that were going to last a generation and then some so no i could not have fathomed it because such a thing didn't exist so now you're looking at it we got 30 years would you consider uh do, stepping up and if they were to call and say hey we're looking to look for legacy uh characters to come back and kind of reprise their role just for this would you would you be willing to step back into the role of a of a Power Ranger character? They'll never call back. No, Hulk and Skull. They'll Dude, never you've been do the, you it. were there for over ten years. Like your characters were, you were the constant when it came to that television show. That's right. Yep, yep. It should have been called Mighty Morphin Bulk and Skull. Bulk and Skull. That's yes, what it should have been 100%. called. Right. I mean, that's you know, that's the only reason the kids tuned in. They're like, oh look, it's book, it's go. Oh, it's guys in helmets doing flips. But you fit. fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. And you fit what the mold was with those scripts. We needed the dynamic duo, the comedy duo. We created you it. You created it. They Correct. really okay, look, look, not to toot our own horns, but they really were trying to find they're like, look, we want superheroes, but we also want comedy. And yes. they weren't sure what they were gonna do with the comedy. So Paulie and I were lucky enough that we had a common vernacular, uh, the same warped sense of humor. Uh, we liked the same shows. We knew all the same slapstick. We both had a background in theater playing around live off of other people. So we got lucky that we found each other, and the Power Rangers were lucky they had yeah, us. I'm I, sorry. It's 100% because that, that formula carried on to so many other seasons. Yeah, and look, and, and I'll say this. I will say this. Um, the producers of Power Rangers were really good at saying, these guys are what we need. They gave us a lot of credit. They gave us a lot of. Uh, uh, they gave us uh, enough leash to choke ourselves with. Is that right. is that the right yes, term? That is, that enough is. line to choke ourselves. <laughs> I don't know. Enough rope to strangle ourselves with. But they did. They're like, go play. You know, and they they asked us. You know, hey, you know, on things like wardrobe or character development, stuff like that. They would come up with an idea and say, can you guys run with it? And we'd say yes or no, and they'd say go for it. You know, so, um, and. Some of the people we worked with are still there, so it would be fun right, to yes. go back. Of yes. course, yeah, that would of be course, great. but it ain't gonna happen. Well, we could only hope, man. You know, uh, everyone can hope. You, you, everyone are, that's you. watching this, <laughs> both of you, but both, both you guys of you <laughs> should right now write to your senator or congressman and say that Bring would be great. Bulk and skull. Can we have a bulk and skull day? I mean, it's it's yeah, possible. Uh, uh, right, it's pretty important. It's yeah. Yeah, right? It's important. Right. It's important so, ladies nation. and gentlemen, you heard it right here from Jason and Narvi that we need to make sure that they are there for the 30th anniversary. It's only a short two years away, and the way time is moving. Oh, my God. It's two years away, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that, that'll be it's, – it's your turn to reprise so your role. Do you do have your choker? Do you have everything ready? Uh, No, I don't <laughs> have any of that stuff anymore, you know? You mean to tell me that's not how you walk around at home? You'd I think I did. I honestly did. thought you're, you know, I your, teach my Shakespeare how, classes. How your with family a, at home, you know, you know, maybe, you know. Yeah, but no, no. The Mohawk, no, no, no don't have the Mohawk that, no. anymore. No. Well, well, we could only I hope, should have like a I said Mohawk, before. Though. Yeah, well, you yeah. should. Yeah. It'll be great. Because if you want, if there's something you want from a guy in his 40s, it's a Mohawk. Yes, a Mohawk. It's coming back. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so happy. Again, and I, I say this. Uh, what are you doing over there? I've said this once in a while. I'm extremely happy to stay with uh, with guys like yourself that uh, have been part of the show for so long. Uh, and I said this before, the 12-year-old me slapping 30-year-old me right now with how amazing. Like, I, I really love the fact that, we, you know, we've also created a little bit of a friendship there with through the film and, and understanding, like, the projects that we want to do and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, guys, um. Don't go anywhere. Uh, we're gonna we'll log off of here for a couple minutes, and then we're gonna have Polly. Polly's gonna In join theory, us. In theory, we're gonna have Polly. Even if he doesn't show up, we will try, or I will like chase him down. I don't know. I'm paparazzi around oh, here. Oh yeah, so. grab him, like go. Yeah, find just him. just find in his face. Um, before we leave, anything that you want to plug, like your socials, be, so people can. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure everybody knows already. Everybody but. knows my socials at uh, my Instagram is at narvijason.com. Again, I want everyone to go watch Ark Exodus. Let us know what you think. I also got an audio book out there, Shakespeare's Ripper. Yes. I want everyone to go get that audio book right now. Right now. 
Thank you so much. Guys, once again, RSP Lounge. Uh, if we don't hear from Paulie, don't worry about it. He'll still be around. <laughs> I do have a cell phone. It's very, it's not He's hard to not catch dead. him. He's yeah. He's dead. Yeah. He's Is dead. He? Oh, God. Um, yeah. But tomorrow, we're going to be ending tonight. We're going to do some footage from the game room later on today. Some footage from the party that we're going to have later. Like, things, you know, we're going to still be moving and grooving here. But tomorrow, we're going to have is the closing of RS, you know, Ranger Stop and Pop here in Atlanta tomorrow. Yep. And, uh, you know, it's it's been an amazing already two days. And tomorrow we'll have some other guests here at the RSP Lounge, so make sure you don't go anywhere. Jason, thank you so much for right. stopping by. It's all right. It's just clammy. It's just he had it in the water bowl here, you know. All right, guys, see you soon. Yeah. Take care.